What is up, Generals? We are back with Ultimate General Civil War, playing the Union Major General campaign, heading into the Battle of Cold Harbor. The army has been cleaned up <clears throat> and reorganized after the uh, skirmish at the Mule Shoe, um, continuing our usual uh, procedure of raw recruits uh, until we hit the unit cap, self-imposed of 1,500 uh, or we would lose a star in the process. It does mean that some units are small, um, but that's, it's fine. Uh, it, it preserves the experience of the army, I think, doing kind of a pretty good job um, with all of those things. Again, we are continuing to um, rotate in 1861s or Richmond's or 1863s in place of other muskets. I am attempting to decommission um, the Harper's Ferry, where practicable, uh, the Springfield 55, um, will also be being, uh, decommissioned or replaced as the case might be, uh, basically just kind of trickling down. Um, and then I'm still using the Enfield in a pretty solid number as well. Ooh, no, you should not be using two star units generally should, uh, be, what's the difference? That's a lot of money. Two-star units should generally be using 61s at least, uh, and then kind of going from there. Um, I suppose that pays for it to a degree. And, um, yeah. We have a, a decent armory. Uh, we have... Plenty of officers just hanging out to the point that I'm not that worried about picking up any of the officers here. Um, and let's do this. Uh, the army is looking pretty good. Um, looks like about, I don't know, just shy of 75,000. No, more like 70,000. Um, we have spent our reputation. I'm probably... Not going to spend any more reputation. I'd like to get this number as high as possible. Manpower pool is looking phenomenal. Um, money situation is looking great. I know that earlier in the campaign, I had been worried about cash. Uh, I have not put any more points into politics, and I'm not really all that worried about cash. Uh, so I'd imagine the points will go into logistics, and then theoretically speaking, I'll take a look at bumping up recon or something i don't know what the i don't know what to do with the points after this to be honest anyway let's uh get into it so cold harbor um blah blah blah, blah victorious raw recruits cool, cool cool okay so training still in the mid 50s armory still in the mid 50s um armory is edging towards 60 however so that's a, a thing to consider the army force pool is actually smaller than my army. So the Confederates have been being beaten down pretty hard, it looks like. Uh, additionally, in this battle, there's going to be a 15% army size debuff on um, the the army, the Confederates, I suppose. Uh, I imagine this number is not wholly accurate. So um, let's take a look. I gotta figure out what's in what core. Uh, so I core. Dragoon, Cavalry, Cavalry, two snipers, wired, howitzer, counter battery, counter battery. Okay. Cavalry, Dragoon, Dragoon, counter battery, sniper, sniper, howitzer, howitzer, counter battery, howitzer. Okay. Everybody has at least one howitzer. And then third core um, is my siege core. Note, I've swapped Grant and fiasco so fiasco mg has been moved to the artillery heavy core because of the um artillery perk still predominantly an infantry core still focused on cover uh but because there's so much more artillery in third core um, i've moved fiasco down there because he has the artillery perk and then the predominantly infantry and cavalry perks or uh, brigade corps core have um been bumped up to include uh, McClellan and Grant, and we're looking to see if we can't get Grant his third star here. Seems seems probable that we'll pick it up. We'll pick it up. Um, let's buy you some sixty ones as well, shall we? 
Uh, oh man, spelling is hard, guys. Okay, let's sell a few more of these. Boop. Nice round number. Money's doing good. I'm not that worried about it. All right. So if that's the case, um, hmm. who do I want to take what position? Day one, we'll go ahead and stick Fiasco. Let me see. Where do they attack day one? It kind of looks like it's probably here. Well, okay. So we'll stick Fiasco and let them get hit with the cavalry. We'll have... Um, hmm. Grant. I want Grant to get into the fighting so we can get some experience. So we'll do this. That'll work. Um, yeah, so the Union Army is 73,000 soldiers, 214 some odd guns. It's pretty, it's a pretty beefy army. Like, it's a large force. And I've talked about it at length. I enjoy larger armies. I do realize that that fiddles with scaling. Okay. Um, but it's, it's fun. Um, I, I, I don't know. It's just, I have a perception of the civil war being a large unit, um, battle army is shifting, trying to do some stuff, swing to the left. Uh, we're building trenches near the place and this is where we're going to do the fighting. I think maybe, um, here we go. This looks, this is right. Okay. We've captured the thing. Old Coast Harbor, crossroads uh, from this position, threatening to advance on Richmond. Infantry are currently building breastworks to secure our new base. And here are the equivalent Confederate breastworks. Um, this I talked about it in the last video, how towards the latter stages of the war, it starts to look indistinguishable from you know Western Europe a la 1915. Um, and this is, I think this game does a decent job of sort of indicating that sort of thing. Um, talking about uh, the tactical situation and these little barrel breastwork things is as good an indication of trenches as anything um, to indicate where the entrenchments have uh, been. So we're going to be here defending this and they're going to be there defending that. Um, the Confederates are theoretically speaking able to, I think, I don't know if this is actually the case or not. I've never been able to pull it off, but from the Confederate side, if you advance from here and take this flag, I think you can win the battle like right there. I don't know. Uh, let's take a look. We have you, you're good. Trench, infantry, infantry. I kind of want artillery on day one, but maybe not. Mm, let me see. So you're going to go there. You're going to go there. You're going to go down that way. You're going to go here and you're going to float. I don't think I have room for another artillery. I think I need all of these units. Uh, yeah. Okay. So in that case, we'll do that. McGilton. Brad McGilton. What a hell of a name. All right. Um, you're going to be the one that sort of hangs out in the center there. Oh, man. I really do. Like, I would like an artillery unit. All right. Maybe we get reinforcements. We probably do. All right, let's jump into it. Um, third Corps, First Division, looks like predominantly. What's this? Three Corps, First Division, yeah. So the First Division of Third Corps will defend uh, the Old Church Road. Old Cold Harbor, okay. So uh, normally I talk at length about trenches being hot, hot garbage. <laughs> and I make um, no secret of my naked derision um, four trenches generally. And this is one of the few battles where the breastworks that they give you are actually pretty solid. Um, let's take a look at what we get. Maybe I have to do one of these. All right. So cover bonus is pretty good. It's just like if you recover anywhere else, projectile resistance is uh, damage reduction on the way in. Melee resistance is insane. Melee bonus is wild. Like these are occupying these trenches is just you're gonna kick butt man all right who can afford to kick off some skirmishers and i really don't want to break them off from here i think i'm gonna have to but i don't want to um actually you can probably afford yeah that should be good so um generally speaking a confederate attack will materialize 
um, here, here-ish. Like this is their good, this is their good terrain to launch the attack from, uh, and they'll often launch into melee. So what I'd like to get is I want to make sure that inevitably I'm pretty sure 43rd infantry here is going to get charged, and the floater unit 21st will, you know, do floater unit type things. They're going to float around and make sure that everyone's doing okay um, in providing rear supporting fires. But I want um, the skirmishers from the 23rd here um, because they can provide supporting fire to the rear as well uh, to keep 23rd okay. Hopefully. We have 44th. This is a brand new unit. Brand new. Um, deployed here. They're our largest unit and they're the one that I'm most willing to allow to accept casualties. And then we have second here in a supporting fire type position. All right, here comes, here comes the attack. Oh goodness! Look at this! Look at this! It's a fifteen hundred man unit, and they're they're getting hammered. Amazing. Amazing trenches. Amazing trenches. Also behold the power of supporting fire. Um, that's not like just by itself that those trenches are are holding. Uh, or the infantry in those trenches are holding. They're, they're supported from a couple of different sides. Um, but obviously so far it's going great. <laughs> um, I don't know for sure that it will continue to go great, but it's going okay so far. But supporting fire from second is certainly going to keep um, 44th in a in a good place. So these units are well supported, and that's important. Um, and then second infantry will be able to kind of backstop anything as uh, as the fighting progresses. So another route. Another, just a shitload of melee experience for 44th Infantry. This is their first battle. These are completely green recruits, and they're already doing great. All right, get out of here, Humphreys. I want you to go. You want to wipe these units out as much as possible as well. At this point, I'm already of the opinion that their ability to launch an offensive is suspect, I suppose. Alright, we're going to need a break, and I want them just to really plug all the hole holes. Oh, no. Oh, that's concerning. Okay. So we have a flanker. Excellent. Um, excellent utilization of terrain on the AI's part. This is actually very smart. Because um, I'm going to be hard-pressed to do something about that in an efficient manner. Yep. Excellent utilization of the terrain and and my fixed position. Great, great, great job. Very impressive. Okay. So this will be interesting to kind of respond to. Um, we have another melee. Tunnel Colonel wounded. Yep, not surprising. So far, though, they're doing okay. They're definitely not, like, having a great time. Um, hopefully, second will be able to support. 
Looks like it should mostly be okay. It's going to be messy for a moment, but it looks like it'll be okay. Brian's already kind of not so sure this is a good idea. Yeah, yeah. All right. Fall back and rest up. I do need you back in the fight, but for the for the time being, you can chill out. Okay, wow, that was pretty touch and go there for a moment. Um, yeah, flank fire. Okay. And they lost their officer too. That's that's part of it as well. Um, the center, however, seems like it's doing okay. Yeah, so this is definitely touch and go. All right, but uh, all of our all of the holes in our flanks have been plugged at least down here, so that's something. All right. So we'll roll, uh, we'll get second in a position here. And 43rd just got the, the duty of being our floater, looks like. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And Fiasco will continue to extort them, uh, exhort them to uh, do their duty for king and country or for the union. Preserve the union. Hold the line. All right. Let's go back. Back to full speed. There's not as many moving pieces to keep track of right now. There's just sort of a general, general firefight up and down the line. And uh, second infantry is killing it. Great work, dudes. Uh, 21st, actually, also really doing a lot of good work. Um, using two skirmishers to kind of hold this line is not ideal. Uh, now that they're kind of continuing their advance so farther north. Um, however, um, I don't know. 300 guys is not enough to hold this. But hopefully, hopefully, they can at least give me a warning and then no one's going to kind of come. So that was, my, that was I think, a, my, a me thing. Um, leaving that much of my line exposed. However, I do feel like I am spread out very thin, so this could go south pretty quick. Uh oh, that's going to go bad for you, Colquitt. Yep. Notice, um,. Two star units. This is mostly two star units. So the influx of raw recruits is actually dragging down their relative experience value. It's been my my personal experience in the past that per, for the most part it's three star Confederates. Um, two star is much more manageable, I think. All right. Cavalry's decided against this. It looks like maybe. I guess not today, Cunningham. Yeah. Great work. Great work. Everyone's doing really good. Everyone's being asked to kind of watch a very large swath of territory. Uh, and they're doing a great job holding it. So I'd like to get second out of there. Nope, nope. And then swap. Okay. Come on, come on. Excellent. Supporting fire. Yes. Yes. Great work. Awesome teamwork, everybody. Excellent. Excellent. Excellent teamwork. Great job, guys. All the units are really covering for each other. They're doing a good job. Um, that was dicey getting, so I, I put them back on the line. I am aware, <coughs> excuse me, they've lost the officer. Obviously that part's not great. 
I'm far more willing to allow a one-star unit with 55s and pretty mass stats to stand in this trench line and just trade blows with these guys because I can't bring enough de- decisive firepower to break any of these units. So I'm willing to have them get trickled down or, or, or uh, death by a thousand paper cuts, so to speak, in this trench line here more than I'm willing to have these guys. They already have, they still have their officer. It's a two-star commander. They've got excellent stats and a great gun. I don't want to waste them, so to speak, on the trench line. <clears throat> Brand new dudes are having a great day. Numbers are uh, pretty strongly in the Confederates' favor. On this fight, this is um, heavy. I was expecting to get more dudes because um, I'm definitely feeling the pressure. Let me put it that way. <clears throat> I am, uh, let's just say, hyper aware <laughs> of um, my numbers situation right now. So how's everybody doing on ammo? You guys are mostly okay. I was looking mostly okay. Um, yeah, and if we have a chance to phase in between battles, I'll get you a new officer. If we don't, I'll fold you into somebody. It'll be okay. My brigades are pretty small nowadays. I know I pushed to make them larger, but it seems like they're naturally just trickling back down to that, I don't know, 1300 mark, give or take. That said, the Confederate units are starting to get, get bled down pretty well, too. It does appear as if they may have gotten another division of reinforcements, maybe? Um, you know, this is a pretty healthy numerical disadvantage. I'm feeling pretty safe down here. I'm not worried. This is, these should be enough to fend off the cavalry who are both carbine cav. Um, these guys seem like they're doing okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm mostly worried about up here. I don't think that I have enough forces to hold confidently this part of the map. But we'll see. Like I said, these are decent trenches, so we'll see. Well, okay, when that kind of shit goes down, yeah. Ooh, this is a bad day. Oh shit, here it comes. All right, this will be interesting. Looks like a fresh brigade. Fiasco's right there. Good supporting fire. Come on, get out of there. Yeah, all right. Oh, shit. Uh, that's pretty healthy as well. Okay. Second, you've done your duty. As far as I can tell, course has probably about had it. Uh, how are you guys doing? Just amazing. A brand, brand, brand new unit. Oh, my goodness. Green recruits. Okay, we need to get Fiasco up here. This is going to get messy really damn quick. All right, second, I need you on support. I know. All right. All right, break Burton. But there's one coming right behind him. That's not going to be enough. Hold. Hold. Okay, now break uh, Hamilton, maybe? Hunting, hunting. Break Hamilton, hunting. Come on, stand fast. I know, I know. The center must hold. Second, second. The line resists. Rests on you. Never underestimate the resolve of Union soldiers. Holy hell. All right, how are we doing? You're definitely earning your paychecks. You're doing great. We need to get you some ammo. Uh, doing good, doing good. You guys are killing it. Absolute all-stars right now. 43rd is really, really killing it. They are doing fantastic. 20 seconds, saving their bacon. Um, you do this right, 43rd. I think you picked up a guard status because uh, you're definitely you're definitely the hero of the day so far. Hold the trenches. Oh my gosh. Oh man, this is so touch and go. Okay, they're going to break soon. 
and they've earned it. They've absolutely earned it. They need a reprieve, but I just can't let them just walk the, leave the trenches just yet. Okay, get fire support in position now. Do I have any cavalry? I do. Dragoons, no less. Regular cavalry and dragoons. Okay. Hmm. Let's get you into flanking position to relieve some of the pressure. We'll get you running, no less. Uh, you as well. running. I know. I know you're going to be exhausted. That sucks. Wait, 43rd? Do I have a second 43rd? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, damn it. All right. Well, crap. Uh, Okay. Well, then this one of these two is now... Okay, 43rd, you're definitely getting... <laughs> you're definitely getting a guards a guards renaming. Uh, Two cav units, right? Okay. Let's see what we can do with that. As I'll bet carbine cav could really cause some drama on um, the flanks. The remainder of you aren't going to be in position in time, I don't think. But let's go ahead and see how it goes. All right. Clutch. Clutch reinforcements arrival. Absolutely. Absolutely deserved. All right. 22nd. Take up your position. This is just fun. Phenomenal, phenomenal work, soldiers. Jesus. Talk about touch and go. Oh, we do have artillery. Oh, because it just came in in phases. That makes sense. Um, let me see. 20s and Jameses, they're going to be fairly long range. Let's put them here. That seems like a place. Uh, more 20s. Oh, this, that's right. This this is the this is the artillery heavy uh, core. All right. We got wires and more 20s and more 20s. Jesus, that's right. I have been talking at length about the increased importance of the counter battery mission, so this shouldn't be a giant surprise to anybody. And then sweet, glorious 24 pound howitzers, and guess where you're going? Right in that house, because the Confederates really like the idea of attacking there, which makes sense, by the way. Like, this is, it's a covered approach. It makes sense to try and press, pierce the line there. Fortunately, because of the double back here, I've got some support, and then soon I'll have more. Um, to help. So let's take a look. Do they mean? Do they get everything? I think I did. I think if I didn't, I'll know soon enough. All right. Forty third part one. Cough, cough, cough. Uh, <laughs> that's kind of embarrassing. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm usually pretty good about that. I guess you could say it's a clerical error of the union. What is this? Dudes. Yep. All right. How are we doing? The line holds 31st and 11th moving to support. We're going to get two brigades of infantry into the um, the woods right here, along with cavalry to try and take the pressure off of this portion of the line. It looks like everything's moving. Okay. Yep. All right, back to full speed here in a second, maybe? Let's just check. Yeah. Apologies for the the slow-mo. I don't want to miss anything. Here we go, another one. Second infantry is reaping a butcher's bill. 44th, not doing much worse. Excellent, excellent. Supporting troops are in position. Um, okay. So you can actually, you you deserve a retreat. So go, go and recoup. Um, we'll put you here. Actually, I'd like to put you in direct support of 44th. I'd like to put you in direct support of 21st. Mm, I mean, you're not going to take casualties if you just stand in the back and provide supporting fire. So you'll be useful and get more experience. Here we go. Four 
fascinating battle, desperate defense. Oh my goodness. So exciting. Alright, Dragoons dismount. Uh Cavalry. I don't I don't need you to go hunt cannons. It's not going to matter. There's four minutes left. All right, do your job, second. Yeah! Get in there! Lots of artillery over here. Our right flank is under attack. Oh my wow. That was so great. What a fun mission. Um, oh wow. Okay, good. We get to go to the camp. Okay, first of all, I get to fix that embarrassing error of misnaming one of the regiments. Uh, third Corps, 43rd. Um, okay. So, congratulations. Uh, first of all, you get a young general... That vastly exceeds what you need. Uh, can a major do the trick? Barely. So let's 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 do that. Um, cold guards. They're not the cold stream guards. This is not the English military. Um, money. Yeah, I don't think I can actually change their gear. That makes sense. But we'll bring you back up. To fighting strength. This is the first one star unit of guards I've got, but they've earned it. Uh, <laughs> and where's the third? Where's the where's the other forty third? Oh my goodness, they're in the same brigade too. That's so. Yep, there they are. That's the brand new unit. So that's not brand new. They're the brand new unit. Oh gosh. Okay. Yep. Awesome. Um, who else did great? Forty fourth also did wonderful. Good job, guys. Two just, you know, sh shit equipment units, too. And, I mean, yeah, I'm losing stats here. Okay, whatever. Meh. 23rd. Did you fight? Looks like you did a little bit, you know. 1,200. Nice round number. Second. You killed it, dude. Total rock star, man. Really, really, really good job. 21st, where are you? 21st, yeah, there you go. Let's get you back up to a little, maybe? Yes. I like round numbers and I cannot lie. All right, enough fiddling, whatever. You get the idea. Um, Cold Harbor, part the first. Okay. Okay, what a really fun, what a really fun uh, day one that was. Yeah, so it's a very like just kind of hold the line, right? So that's not super duper exciting, but oh my goodness, super cool. Uh, all right, 72 and change, 20 and 20 and change. So they've gotten reinforcements from their 18. Um, I don't know how many we inflicted. It looked like, I don't know, a couple, a couple thousand probably. I don't, that seems like maybe an exaggerated number. Uh, all right, the Confederates hold the passage to the church road, and we, if we could secure it, we could drive them from the battlefield today. So this, another one of those things where theoretically you can end the battle early. Uh, temporary forts doing the thing here. I mean, they're pretty good forts, um, I think. They're pretty okay. Let me get some more dudes up here doing some stuff. We're guarding this section of the road doing uh, with a few brigades. Yep, that makes sense. And then we're going to get some more crap from this direction. Okay, yeah. This looks like one where they've already kind of uh, be cautious trying to inflict casualties. We can't afford losses. That's true. This is one of those ones where you could rapidly lose like all of your command really quickly if you're dumb about it. Um, so, boop, boop, boop. There's that. Uh, another unit of skirms there to demand the attention of their artillery. Let's... Ch -ch -ch Consolidate our infantry command. That's Grant. 
Um, I don't see, I don't think they're going to attack over here. Or if they do, I don't particularly care to do much more than just delay them. I don't have any desire to try and attack that fort. So let's get the Shiloh Guards, 4th Infantry and 14th Infantry prepared to take up this position and, and see if we can't beg them to attack us. Like, look at that marsh. Monday terrain makes movement very slow and fighting ineffective. Please, please come try and take this flag from me. There's no flag over here. Who cares? That's my thoughts on the matter. What do we bring? I guess we decided to bring uh, an ordnance unit. Okay, that's fine. Um, da, da, da. Let's get a recon so we can see what's what. Okay. Yeah, so they're probably going to try and push on my flag, which, you know, I would. Makes sense to me. Holy crap. They've got at least these two units of artillery. Let me take a look. So if my unit is 350 men at 14 guns, then likely they're also at 14 guns, although Braxton may be 13 if you want to get, you know, pedantic and split hairs. Oh, I mean, I don't know. Let's Let's leave one unit back just to keep... I guess, our back door safe. Yeah, that makes some degree of sense, I suppose. Okay, cool. So they're coming. Um, I want to see if I can't engage them in the open, or as close to the open as possible. So we're going to we're gonna run, be a little hyper-aggressive, because um, I don't want to get involved in a woods fight if I can avoid it. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Uh-oh, well, it might go poorly. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. We'll see. We shall see. Oh, this might actually go really well. I don't know. I don't want to jinx it. <laughs> uh, 14th and 4th. All right, just come across, occupy. Damn it, come across there. And then you just go in the open or whatever. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Hold up. I don't know if I can turn this down anymore and you guys can actually hear it. <laughs> All right. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Nope. Hold. Okay. I mean, no. You need to, you need to slow the troops down first. All right, so hopefully the artillery is mostly shooting at the 41st in these trenches behind the woods. We'll see about that, though. All right, as usual, opening phases, touch and go. All right, we're flanking them. God, there's a lot of guards here. Third, 16th, technically 38th if I wanted to say that. And then I think there's another one down here. There's a lot of guards. This is a, yeah. Oh, well, this is second core. Yeah, this is kind of my elite. All right, my unintentionally elite um, core with very little artillery support. I mean, some, I guess. All right, kick him out of here. Kick him out of here. Bye, Evans. How strange. You're engaged in melee, but shoot the unit behind them. Oh, this is going to go poorly. Yep. Come on. Come on. Shoot him. <laughs> oh, boy. Did you get dragged in there, too?
wow, this is actually going to work out really well. <clears throat> that part of it, anyway. Um, let me see. They're not likely to come directly along this route. So let's do... Let's get out of the woods so we're not losing... Well, no, there's two star troops. They can walk in the damn trees for a while. All right, yep, yeah, this will work out okay. All right, keep pressing in the flanks. Get them out of the damn trees. This is like, if you once you get yourselves situated, this will be a perfect opportunity for you to blast guys on the frickin' marshes and stuff. I'm like, dude, I totally get it. I absolutely get it. Let's put you there so maybe you can support. We'll see an attack coming from this direction long before it materializes. Come on, you gotta get them out of these woods. There you go. There you go. Alright. My trees. You can't have them. Oh, no, 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 no. Are you... Are you on the marsh? Are you in the marsh? I can't tell. Looks like you're in the marsh. Get out of the marsh. No, no, you're fine. Sorry. You, you're good. You're good. Sorry. Out of the marsh. Uh, and let's get a skirmisher swarm going. Okay. Yep, they are coming. Good. Good to know. Are you good? You're good. All right, cannons, time to not be a thing anymore. And, all right, second ordinance, time to get into position and blow shit up. Not having artillery is going to cause a bit of a problem, I think. Um... So, something Compass has brought to my attention, as has Panda Kraut, that uh, artillery causes not just actual casualties, but also like a morale, uh, a morale, a form of morale damage, um, which can help you get to that point where the unit decides maybe charging is a bad idea, or, oh, oh, please. Maybe charging is a bad idea, or, um, I mean, if you're just going to trade shots, cool. Yeah. Or it can help you get to the point where you've routed something faster. Artillery is useful in a lot of those instances. Um, hmm, actually, no. I don't know if I want you to go in there. I don't want you to block off the shooting. Yeah, this is great. This is great. Okay, we need to stop trading fire like this and get these guys out of here. Get, no, get, no, get in there. We need to start sidling you sideways. What are you even being flanked by? All right, man, I get it. Let me get you in the woods. Back to full speed. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, interesting. All right. Here we go. This is interesting. Um, Shiloh is actually going to be in a great place to help at this point then. And maybe even the 38th skirmishers. This is great. Uh, I think 4th is probably out of position. They don't seem to have any ability to attack directly across uh, or any even inclination. But where the fuck do I even put you? Wait. 
I say you're out of position, but I don't know where else to put you. Um, especially, actually, I'd like to gently kink this entire line one brigade further to the screen left, union right. So I'd like third, second, or sorry, third, 16th, and 27th forming a line this way, and then 38th, 41st, 14th, and 4th kind of forming a line this way. And that would be the ideal. Um, these are big ass skirmisher units. Supporting fire. Get in there. Yeah. Nope. First one's calling it a day. How are you guys doing on morale? All right. Looks like the artillery's done before, which is good. We need to get Doles out of here. He's the last hurdle. It shouldn't take long to convince Doles to back to back off. Excellent. Good job. Fourteenth is kind of just holding the back door open. This is going okay. All right. If we get early, great. If we don't, I mean, I'll live. It's one of those, like, nice-to-have kind of things. Let's see if we can't get the supplies, though. That would be, like, dream. Hey, get in there. No, don't shoot them. Charge them. Or, you know, take the guns. Whatever. You know what I mean. All right. Grimes can't possibly stand up to that kind of punishment for much longer. It does appear as if he's not putting out effective fire, so that's a thing. Um. Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 no. Don't sh God freaking damn it. Just walk in that general direction. Yes. One down. Keep walking. If you can shoot them, cool. If you can't, I'll live. Oh, interesting. Um, goodness, they are well. They are well supported. Uh, how are we doing? How's everything going? All right, looks like actually it's coming along pretty well. Um, just a, a, a little bit more. Yes, excellent. Good. Fall back. Get it. Get it. Get it. Excellent. You too. Also. Just get back. I don't, I don't, I mean, I don't, I want your money. If I end up using your supplies, I suppose that's a thing too. But for the most part, I just want your money. All right. So this, they're attacking because they see skirmishers. That makes sense. Doles, dude, it's not a thing anymore. Y you, you having this side of the river is no longer uh, an option. So figure it out and get out of here, man. How are we doing over here? This is a healthy attack. Okay. Uh, Yeah. Fall back. Also fall back. Artillery is kicking my ass. Fall this way back. Run for fuck's sake. Jesus Christ. I feel like probably I should have just abandoned that side of the table altogether. Okay. All right. All right. We're doing all right. We got it. Terrain's looking okay. Artillery's really a problem, uh, but the counter battery units can no longer can stop focusing on an inefficient mission. Parrots are not good counter dude guns. Um, they're great counter gun guns. All right, dude. All right, I, I get it. There's nowhere else for you to go. Just figure your shit out and get back in line. 
I am mildly sympathetic to your predicament. Right, let me see. Where's like... How's this looking cover-wise? 150. Uh, 150 versus 160. All right. We're not going to do much better than that, I suppose. This is messy over here, actually. Um, fall back. Okay. Are you good yet? Hmm. No, the guns, dude. Yeah. Are you done? All right, let's go. Yeah. I should have just abandoned this half of the table altogether. No, we want them just right when they get in the water. That's the dream, the sweet spot. Yay, reinforcements that aren't going to get here in time. Woo! You do whatever you're going to do. You're whatever. Do whatever you're going to do. You're not going to get here before it matters. Bennett's about to have a bad time here in a second. I mean, any second now. Just literally whenever he wants. Just, just, there it is. All right. I think I want to let him, let him get into the, the creek first before we shoot him. How's this all going? How's that going? It's going okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's all going okay. All right, we've successfully stopped wasting our time on that half of the map. Fall back. Shiloh guards are in a good place. There you go. Battle. Here you go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Golden opportunity. Golden opportunity. Anytime now. Golden opportunity. There you go. Good job. Oh, yeah.
More of our things are here. Oh, oh, they're ooh, they're coming in in a reasonable place. That's useful. Artillery at close range, that's good. Uh, yeah, no, you're good. Right about there should be fine. Right about, I don't know, there should be fine. Parrots, do I want? That seems like a mistake. Okay, no, that's fine. We're okay. This section of the battle is also almost over. Yeah, and as I suspected, none of this stuff is even close to mattering in terms of where it gets here. Alright. Punish Fry for existing. Continue smashing cannons. Fourth is not doing great. Fourth isn't having a good time right now. Which I suppose I can sympathize with. All right, you're here in case I need to charge something. Okay, yep. Yep, there you go. Proceeding to the next day. Woo! <laughs> what a great little... Uh, I actually kind of like the way they break out the battle into these little portions. I, I, on the one hand, I'm kind of, I'd be inclined to try and merge all the side pieces together. But, um, yeah. Uh, okay, so, yeah. Um, not a lot of casualties in two core. There were some. Some units took a beating, but for the most part, we're okay. I'm not going to... Um, fiddle with it too much let's just jump into um the uh, sort of the final day like if you do this right you can just kind of call it a day so that's all good everything's locked in anyway yeah so they say eighteen thousand. i hope i hope that number's not right because if it really is just eighteen thousand people on this field oh my goodness i hope that number's not right this might be a very quick <laughs> we are preparing to attack. The Confederates have built heavy breastworks along the road. That's quite accurate. Uh, connecting the thing to the thing. Yep. Yeah, they, they, they do actually have some really great entrenchments. Uh, the other road leading to Richmond, Walnut Grove Road, is defended by these woods. That's correct. And then there's the northern thing where we're going to... Northern entrenchment area where we're going to go ahead and make our push. Um, we must be careful not to lose. Yep, that makes sense, as that would stop our thing, our offensive. Uh, all right, so basically the map explodes upward, and you have access to the whole thing, uh, except for where we were fighting, um, I guess, earlier yesterday, uh, or earlier today. We do, however, have elements of 2nd and 3rd Corps. Uh, looks like early divisions and that. I don't know if we get reinforcements. We'll find out. We do fairly significantly outnumber um, the uh, Confederates. All right, but let us figure out what we're going to do because we need to kind of assemble a functional attack force. All right, let's make sure that we're covering uh, the back door. I don't want to leave anything open. but I don't want to leave f perfectly good brigades all the way down here. Um, let's go ahead and treat that as a staging area. Hmm. 20-pound parrots. To the house with you. You can b bombard stuff from a distance. And... Wireds. Okay, we like wireds.
going to basically defend along this line here. So I know that this part isn't like mega, <laughs> mega crazy exciting. Um, there's definitely kind of the annoying part where you wait for shit to get into position. Um, let me take a look. Okay, you got orders. You've got orders. You've got orders. You don't have orders. No, you 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 don't. You don't have orders. Um, also, to that general vicinity, we'll go ahead and create a bit of an artillery park. Uh, they're together for the most part, right? Yeah. There, over there. All infantry. One, two, three, four. I see four, but there's five. Where's the... Oh, it's already up there. Okay, cool. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Mm-hmm. We'll get ourselves ingratiated with this block of terrain. We're going to assemble um, the attack force up here. And I guess you're part of 2nd Division Grant. You're doing the thing. All right, that's cool. All of 3 Corps troops are down here. Yeah, so that's all 2nd Division stuff. Where are you? You're 3 Corps. Oh, does it just have a limit to how many it can select at once? That's fine. Uh, the cavalry will go to support. The James guns, if I can wait, which is a big if, will also go to support. Um, all right, first division, this segment of the battlefield shall be you. I'm not sure, what is this? What's the cover though? Oh, I've got multiple units. What's the cover? 150. 160. All right. First division. Backstop. More 20 pound parrots. Okay. And then more infantry. Third division, what are you doing? I've given you mostly orders already. All right, and you're all down there. You're defending the south then. Sounds like fourth division is sort of squicky because they're the artillery division. All right, looks like I've got orders to everybody. Um, fiasco, conduct the defense. Grant, conduct the offense. And if it discovers, we discover that someone's not moving, we'll figure out what to do with them pretty quick. Like this, you're not moving. I will attempt to hold this terrain. Um, we'll see what I can do with it. Um, so speaking of broad commander's intent, uh, the easiest place to pierce is up here. Um, in the corner of the map because it's just obviously the, the least supported um, and you can push south take this flag and then we've got the one that we're going to hold over here and then that will I mean because this road continues on to Richmond the Confederates will have to break um, and and give ground I've debated trying to attack down here as well um, but no And I'm genuinely surprised that they're not trying to uh, contest. This territory. So second course, first division will be spearheading the attack. Followed by second core, second division. I would love to get more elements of two core online, um, but we shall see. Otherwise, though, uh, I've got a, a fairly good, I think, defensive position here. Um, I 
I am a little worried about Confederate troops advancing along this territory. All right. I don't want to leave the back door open, and I don't want anyone sneaking through. Who are you? You are two third corps, second or first division. What do I want to do with you? Like I just, I'm not sure this is this this. I mean, I guess if they don't come out of their trenches. Um. Oh no, they're in their trenches. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see if we can't at least occupy some of these trenches. So we'll go there. We'll go there. We'll get you guys as sort of a backstop to the defensive position. And, oh, it's a howitzer unit. Excellent. We'll start seeing. Actually, I'm going to disengage or detach uh, uh, the artillery to support the offensive that's going to be going on. All right. Let's get ourselves up into position. Yeah, cannons. Do that cannon thing. Holy crap, look at these unit sizes. They're so tiny. They better get reinforcements. I better get reinforcements. I mean, I don't know. If I don't get reinforcements, that's fine, I suppose, but... Yeah, if we can... How many guns do they have? They got plenty of guns. We can probably just blast them to smithereens if that's the case. I'm also not terribly concerned about them going on the offensive, if this is what they've got. Oh, wait, you know what, dude? Just chill out for a minute. You'll have plenty of chances, but I don't want you doing anything. Just Why are you tired? You must be tired from the yesterday's or earlier today's fighting. All right, in that case, we're definitely going to give Second Corps a chance to chill out um, and rest. I don't know what kind of timetable we have for today in terms of fighting. Uh, I'm also not entirely sure how effective this kind of thing, this bombardment is. If we... Uh, actually, if we concentrate all of our fire on, who is this? Chipman? Klingman. Klingman. If we concentrate our fire on him, he's small enough, he might actually shatter. Okay, let's test that theory. One, two, three, four. Who else do I have down here? That's it. Yeah? Correct. That's all I got. Um, let's put all of our fire on Klingman and see what happens. You, oh, and uh, you as well. Also you. Everybody else, the James and the Howitzers are going to go support uh, the effort up here. And we'll do that. Plenty of artillery. This is a good good collection of units, I think. I'm, I'm, I'm in real, again, just continuously ecstatic with the performance of the army. Um, Whittling him down. Do they have people in the trench line to the north? I would assume they do. They must. And there were skirmishers that I did not wipe uh, or shatter. Yeah. Okay. So they do have they do have units. Melee cavalry. It is most definitely not a very efficient thing, and if they were larger or not close to the point of shattering, I might not try this. But, I mean, I don't know. If we can knock them out, why not? Let's do a little more recon, see what's going on. All right. Oh, my goodness. Oh, boy. You know, I wasn't really planning on attacking in the south. Oh, we may need to do a counter-battery mission here as well. What's going on up north? Anything? Nothing exciting? All right, cool. Um, let's get 2nd Division. They're mostly in position. James Guns. Okay... Second division, right behind the first. Doop, doop. All right, so this is going to be 
Um, we'll give it a minute longer for everyone to rest up and everything, get the artillery in position. But basically, I want the guns like right here, just outside of musket range, blasting the shit out of Du Dubois or Dubois, probably Dubois. So we'll we'll pretend he's from Louisiana and um, blast the shit out of them. Charge! I'll get my one cav unit to support, which is a shame I didn't get more, but it is what it is. Um, and then we'll pierce there. And essentially at that point, we're just kind of laterally move on down the flanks. Now, I did not intend to launch an attack here. Um, man, the numbers here are so small. If they don't get reinforcements, and that's a big if, if they don't get reinforcements, I may try and take this flag too. Um, but we'll see. In the meantime, skirmishers are doing great for spotting. And uh, everything else is just resting and getting into position. And I know that this is not super duper duper exciting. Poor guys. <laughs> they are not having a good uh, a good go of it, I'd say. Um, yeah, so let's talk a, lot, a little bit about uh, kind of the end of the campaign. Um, this is the last major battle before Richmond, and then there's the side campaigns or side missions before Richmond, and then there's Richmond. And Richmond's... Um, Something Compass has recommended that I do Richmond as a multi-part video. I likely will. Uh, I remember it being a slog at... Uh, Colonel, I remember it being a slog at Brigadier General. I'm sure it's just a slog at Major General. So Richmond will be broken down into several component parts. Um, I don't know how many side battles there are before Richmond. I, I, I genuinely forget. Um, but let's talk about uh, you know the army. So I've transitioned into this kind of using raw recruits strategy. It saved me insane amounts of money. I've got just wild, crazy amounts of cash. It's excellent. Um, do you know, shit, I almost feel like an attack to the south would be easier than an attack to the north. Look at how big these units are compared to the ones up. They're so, I mean, these are the ones that were associated with the attack earlier. Uh, anyway, so the, 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 uh, the army's in a good size, right? Like I've got plenty of guys. I don't really worry about taking casualties, um, you know, excessive ones. And, uh, we got just more cash and I have any idea what to do with more guns and I have any idea what to do with, uh, I could be equipping them more, um, more liberally than I am. I'm still insisting on using, um, using as much as possible my existing stock of weaponry. How's everyone doing? I want them rest up a little more as well. But, um, you know, the the promised mystical stacks of shitloads of CS Richmonds and whatnot have failed to materialize. Uh, <laughs> and I think partially... That's probably because we just keep hammering the shit out of the army in every one of these battles. Um, so ag aggressive, aggressively hunting down and destroying as much as possible the Confederate army seems to be a viable build or a viable strategy. Um, all right. I think we're mostly ready to do this. So how do we want to make this happen? Pause really quick. So let me see. I want you this far. That's about the length of these trees. So you need to be about here. And I need to be screening you. So about there. And then we need infantry. Infantry. Ready to attack as well. The cavalry. Some can be in the woods. That's fine. 
We want everything just right up on him, though. So actually, you guys can chill. You guys can all chill. Does anybody else have orders? Chill. Chill. Let's wait till the Jameses and Parrots of the world get into position. Yeah, the second division can chill. Um, got him. Hot diggity. All right, counter battery. Boom, boom, boom. Anybody else? No more cannons for you. Boop. Ah, wait, there's another one right there. So we got one, but not the other. It's, it's just inefficient to, it's inefficient to do that with everything. All right. Let us begin the prep work for the attack. If they're not going to come attack me, I'm not going to. I'm not going to send my dudes to their to their inevitable demise. Um, I think we also should talk a little bit about fatigue. Oh. Because uh, I'm sure I'm not the only one who's gotten to this phase of the campaign and been kind of like, okay. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> like... It's, oh gosh, it's a slog, this game. All right, Bratton. I wonder what, what you expect to accomplish here. Oh boy, all of a sudden, lots of fire. So they've got their own artillery observers now. That's good. Keep screening, keep screening, keep screening. Yep, so you're well within shell range as well, which is good. How are you doing? I'm going to need to come closer, I'm pretty sure. Let's see, though. Closer. Not much, actually. I bought that about right. Uh, screen more. And actually, they're only going to need like two or three volleys. And we need to get everything else into position to kind of follow it up. Prepare, prepare, prepare. Do really, you got orders? Do you got orders? Grant, get in there too for your morale shit. He's not given the cover bonus. He's not level three yet. It'll, it'll come. It's coming. All right. Get you into position. Yeah. Keep screening. How's this? Perfect. Perfect. All 
All right, so you're handing out um, resupply. Keep on going up and down the line. Doing good, doing good. Nope, you too. I want everyone to get, I don't know, three or four volleys of good solid work into Duba, and then we'll go for it. <laughs> for half a second, I was like, he got 435? How? Like, I forgot that there's other battles he's fought in today. Mm hmm. Okay. All right, they're coming to play. This is what I wanted. I think I'll work on trying to occupy this to prevent them from having any free territory to move about in. But let's leave some of these troops here. They're exhausted anyway. All right, they're starting to come out and play, though. That's good. Oh, I think I got reinforcements. Something happened. Can I get more dudes? I must have gotten... Maybe a skirmisher went back into a parent unit or something. All right, one or two more volleys from the 6th, and we'll go in. I wonder what you hope to accomplish. There's nothing up there for you. This is going to be interesting. One shattered, that's always a good sign. One battery almost gone, also a good sign. All right. All right, on the next volley, we charge. Uh, pretty unceremonious, but <laughs> we'll see. No, no, them. Damn it. Okay. All right. One down. How are 
are things going in the center? Looks like they're going mostly okay. All right, so if that's the case, then we need to put you here and your skirmishers right there to warn us of approaching shit. Uh, you're good, you're good, you're good. All right, back down the line again. And for some reason, you've decided to fucking shatter, or not shatter, route already. I'm not really sure how. All right, and then the second wave, or the follow-on troops, they're the ones that make the magic work. Um, I don't think they're going to attack, but let's go ahead and leave a screen. Uh, no, not you. You're, you're No, your parent unit. Yeah, and then you guys. All right. Yeah, I timed that a bit rough. The intention was that the skirmishers would eat the first volley, and it looks like the uh, cav did instead, which is unfortunate. So, Greg, this is when you know you're done. You know it's time to go. Hmm. One of these by themselves doesn't seem like it's enough to run them down. But, I don't know, we're getting okay kill ratios, so I'll keep it up for now. Keep on trying this, man. I don't get it. Is he shooting too? Oh, nice. Use those revolvers, man. Run them down. Major General. Major General. Ah, lame. Who died? Oh, Division Commander? Lame. Wow, that was quick. Okay, cool. You here, gents. You along that line right there. Advance, advance, advance. Jesus. You penetrate and they just fucking fall apart. Grant, get in there. So we lost a major general. Hopefully somewhere in there we generate we generate a, a new two star to replace them. And not that I don't have one sitting around, it'd just be nice to have them. 
Are you done? Yeah, you're done. Nice. Good job, dudes. Whoa! Uh, actually, I guess you're just going to be shooting from there, right? Okay. Looks like their position's pretty thin, or pretty, like, it's not a defense in depth, is what I'm getting at. Ouch. Yeah, wow. It just like immediately crumbles, my gosh. Twenty eighth and thirty eighth will continue, sixteenth and twenty seventh will move here. Inevitably there's someone holding that flag. Let's get twenty sixth down there. And then this is ours. And then we get to work on trying to take that and then I think that this will continue to be okay. Yeah, and if we get guns, we get guns. I ain't that worried about it. Actually, 16, you chill. 42, get in there. Um, man, at this rate, the artillery is going to have a hard time keeping up. Which is a good problem to have. It's just sort of, you know, how do you support the attack effectively? Hmm. Uh, I mean, do I dare? Dareth I? <laughs> I dareth. Oh my goodness, I dareth. Oh, wow. Yeah, dudes, take the terrain, get in there. skirmishers yeah I'm worried all right go find your dad whoa whoa whoa, whoa. oh oh no no that's fine that's good uh shit what's going on oh this is fine we're getting hammered by counter battery fire that doesn't make me happy but the rest of this is okay All right, Barton, buddy. I don't know if this is going to be a thing for you, man. Get in there. Get in there. Yeah. Supporting fire. Holy shit. Jesus. Yeah. Union Army dudes, like, for for an army in Major General composed predominantly of one and two star units, like, they're just killing it. They're just doing so great. Um, yeah. You know, quantity is a quality all its own, and I completely agree. Okay, well, we need to not, whatever you're thinking about doing, that needs to not be a thing. And I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm the one that told you to do that. I'm, sh I'm sure this is totally on me, but we're not going to do that right now. And then this guy again. I don't know what the hell they think is up there. 
Oh, hey, I should supply my army, huh? What do you think? It's a novel notion, I'm sure. Sorry, kids. This is my forest now. Get off my lawn. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Way to go. Seriously. I'm genuinely surprised. I, I didn't expect you to hold out that long, to be honest. All right. So I hold, 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 hold. All right, cool. So, I mean, obviously, we'll see if there's another day. But, um... Yeah. Long live the Union, man. You're rested. There is not, I don't think, enough time to go hunting for... Oh, 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 oh. Can we? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. If you can blast our cannons, by all means, man, let's get a let's get a couple of cannon kills. Let's not go in the water to do it, but let's get some cannon kills. Nice. Nice. All right, that needs to not be a thing. You two, counter battery. Everybody else, also counter battery. No? 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 No. Oh, man, that was my mistake. That was totally on me. Get your kills. Woo. Oh, whoa. Hey, they are way more active than I was expecting. Uh, no, don't do that. That's going to be a mistake as well. Just, you know. I don't know if this is one of those ones where it's going to end in a second here. Yep, okay, never mind. I don't know if it's one of those ones where it's going to end in a second here. Yes, it did. One-to-one -one, um, with medicine. Oh, I don't know. Um, we're going to get like 300 back, give or take. Uh, so 25 and change to 20,000. Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, that went great. <laughs> like, I felt like it went great, but holy hell. I mean, day three, 
or section three. I don't know if it's actually day three or not. Woo boy. There's a lot of objectives. This is a very complicated map. Great, great kill ratio. Holy crap, great kill ratio. Um, units, some of the units did fantastic. Jesus, look at that. 44th, a brand, 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 brand new unit. Um, hmm. <laughs> so we lost Porter. That sucks. For it, we got Walker and Race. Okay, that's fine. And to replace Walker and Race, we got Klein and Breathed. So that's cool. Mahoney gets a uh, bump to Colonel, which is always a good time. Let me see. Captured some of my favorite cavalry carbine. Awesome. Captured a pretty decent gun. Oh, finally, the mythic Fayetteville arrives, which as far as I'm concerned is just money. <laughs> just captured money. Just holy shit. 15,000, 15,000. Gosh dang. That is excellent. Texas's money. Richmond's, I'll use those. 1862 Richmond. Interesting. What's this? Carbine and exceptional accuracy. Range 240. Money. Um, and then a bunch of muskets that I brought as well. And Whitworth's. Ooh. Uh, I'm not going to get enough of those to have a unit. But if you're playing as a Confederate player, the Whitworth is a fan damn rifle. Unfortunately for me, money. Well, that was Cold Harbor. That went way better than I expected. Uh, oh, I don't get to go to the camp? Hmm. Interesting. I wonder. Well, so First Corps didn't do any fighting, but this is a defensive battle. Three cav units, is that going to be enough? Hmm. <laughs> I almost want to bring Third Corps to this. Right? What would that do? Third Corps. It's not a much, not a huge difference in numbers. I Corps has more numbers um lots of artillery in three core i don't know we'll see um anyway fort stevens will definitely be the next valley or next battle um because this is this video has already gotten long enough but uh, i will see you guys soon for that and uh yeah without further ado this is fiasco um i hope you had a good time watching this uh cold harbor is a lot of fun i, I actually i i uh, I was dreading this fight for some reason. Um, my previous experience of the battle was not very exciting and, uh, that was a blast. So yeah, I will talk to you guys, uh, in the next video. And until then, this is Fiasco signing out.